Inspections and Dynamics 365 field service give technicians a digital form to quickly and easily answer questions related to assets, safety protocols, audits, and more. Inspections are created with an easy drag and drop interface and then added to work orders. After a work order is assigned to a technician, he or she will see it on his or her mobile phone and will begin answering the inspection questions, which in this example is for fire extinguishers in a facility. After the inspection is filled out, organizations may want to create business processes based on the inspection results, like if it passes or fails. In this video, we will show how to run workflows on inspection responses with Power Automate. First, create an inspection and add it to a work order. From the work order, go to Service Tasks and add a new work order service task. Choose the task type that has an associated inspection form. Once you select it, the inspection form will show below, then save. The last question in this inspection is if a follow-up is needed. We will show how to run a conditional workflow based on the response to this inspection question. If the response is yes, we want the system to run a workflow that adds an additional follow-up service task to the related work order. Let's get started. First, go to Power Automate and create a new flow. Choose a connector to Dynamics 365 that will run when a record is created or updated. Choose the Dynamics 365 environment that has the inspection and work order that you just created. And we want this flow to relate to the work order service task entity. Next, again using the Dynamics 365 connector, call the get record action. From the work order service task record, we want to retrieve the related inspection responses. For entity, choose inspection responses, and then retrieve the inspection response ID. Inspection responses are stored as JSON, and we want to define that JSON content as a variable that we will run workflows on. Search for the initialize variable action in Power Automate, then assign a name and choose string as the type. For value, search and find response JSON content. So at this point, we define we want to run a flow on the work order service task entity. We retrieve the inspection responses and we define the inspection responses as a variable. The next step is to decode the JSON that holds the inspection responses. Again, choose the initialize variable action, assign a name, and choose string as the type. This time, enter the following function. Note that the variable is defined as the name of the first variable that you just initialized, which in our example was response JSON. It was one word and it's case sensitive. The next step is to parse the JSON for the response and answer we are looking for. For the content, choose the second variable that you just initialized, which is the decoded JSON. Then enter the following schema, which isolates the follow-up question that we want to run a workflow on. This will be different based on your specific inspection. If you need help generating the schema, you can choose Generate from Sample and enter the inspection question and sample answer. To get the identifier of the inspection question, go to the inspection record, not the work order service task, select the inspection question and choose Advanced. Look for the name field. In our example, it's follow-up, which is different than how the question appears for technicians. Back in Flow, we are ready to write the conditional part of the workflow. Add a condition step and choose the parsed variable you just created. In our example, it's called follow-up, and the condition will be if follow-up equals yes. If the inspection response for the defined question is yes, we want the workflow to create a new record in Dynamics 365 for the work order service task entity. We will set the task type as a follow-up task that was previously created. And for this new record, we will set the work order field to the one noted on the original work order service task that the flow is running on. Note that the task type identifier, or GUID, comes from the new service task we created called Follow-up for Fire Extinguisher Inspection. You can get the 32-digit GUID from the end of the URL when accessing the task type record. The last step is to test our flow. Choose Test in the top right and perform the trigger action. 
From the web browser, we will go to the work order service task that has the inspection and set the needs a follow-up question to yes by pretending to be a technician. Back in Power Automate, we will see that the flow has run successfully. And if we go to the work order service task list for the work order the inspection was part of, we'll see the follow-up task was added to the work order.